I was afraid to do things on my own. While I always consider myself a risk taker, it was more of a control risk taking approach. This is the year of change. I don't know why. I just feel it. Only 9% of people. 91% of people fail to fulfill the New Year's resolution. Why? That's not the most optimistic scenario for any of my goals. Why would I even start? If there is one thing that I've realized in the past years is that there is always an obstacle in the way when I want to achieve any of my goals. When I want to walk, it's always raining. When I find time to meditate, someone is knocking at the door. It might have different names and timings, but the underlying base is the same for everyone. I was afraid to do things on my own. While I always consider myself a risk taker, it was more of a controlled risk taking approach. But it was time to quit the job which I've been for the last five years. Look after my mental health, travel more and start a project I was really passionate about. But can I jump this time without a parachute? I remember the poem. There is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? And I decided to jump. No parachute, no plan, no decision to make in the process. Just walk. For a month. Going after something new can be overwhelming. The unknown can be paralyzing, bringing hesitation and uncertainty. How many times do we postpone things not because we don't want them, but simply because we don't know how to approach them in the first place? However, I've come to embrace a simple yet powerful mantra. One step at a time. This mantra that I keep repeating to myself guides me forward. Reminding me that a goal is not achieved overnight with giant leaps, but simply putting one foot in front of the other. My mom told me that my dad says to everyone that his daughter is not afraid of anything. She travels a lot and then lived and worked in seven different countries around the world. Is he talking about me? It's not true that I'm not afraid of anything. My body is composed by 99% of fear. Maybe, I guess, I just don't let fear have me, as the things I really want are on the other side of that fear. The more my mind delves into the grey areas, the unknown things and the future, the more fear tends to grip me. How do I start doing something different from what I know now? When I don't know how to do something, I research day and night and learn how to do it. By the end of it, I get so overwhelmed by the quantity of information I need to read that I go from being confused for the lack of information to being overwhelmed for the amount of information that I have. Confusion also gives me anxiety, and when this happens, the best way I have to deal with it, after researching it for hours and days, is to journal about it. This gives me peace of mind, clarity and focus. Ten minutes before leaving my house for the airport, I found myself on my bed, repeating, I'm not going, I'm not going. Do I really want to do it? I'm not going. Why was I so afraid? Of what? I had to call my best friends who convinced me over the phone to leave the fear at home and head to the airport. So I did. I always get passionate about the idea of doing something new and big. I love change. Or better movement, physical and mental. Growth is movement. I've always despised routine and becoming stagnant. Every now and then I feel the need to turn my life upside down. Live, work, study abroad 
check. Seven times. Sing on a stage in front of 200 people. Check. Walk 500 miles across Spain. Check. I need to leave behind everything familiar and comforting. Good job, friends, family, my house, and my usual way of thinking, and go after something new. I need to search for my inner truth. Despite this, I am always afraid of the leap of faith and taking the step to just do it. It did get difficult. My body was in pain, my energy levels were really low sometimes, but one thing I learned is to just walk one more step. Even if insignificantly small, just one more and I was closer to my truth. What is your next small step?